Hey guys, welcome to collegecandy.com. It's Caitlin. Today I'm going to talk you through two fun and flirty updos. Um, they are from the Cosmo December issue. Um, and they had four like holiday updos that you can do, but I'm going to talk you through um, two of them, which is the Bombshell Bump. It's this one here and the Twist. Um, it kind of explains in the magazine how to do it, but I always know that it helps me to watch someone do it first. So I wanted to talk to you guys through these. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this first one, I'm going to do the, uh, the updo with the headband. And it says to use a double headband, but I only have this um, kind of like cloth athletic headband. It's pretty tight, um, which will be perfect for this. And you could use two of these if you had two of them, or if you want to go out and purchase a double hair, hairband, you can. Um, but my hair is pretty dirty. I haven't washed it, but it just says to spray with um, like a texturizing spray, but I'm going to use my Bedhead Head Rush. This is just like a shine serum, but it'll add some texture to it since my hair is already dirty. And you want this to kind of be messy, um, so don't worry if, you know, you mess up or something. But the first step is to do that, and then you want to take from this part of your head from kind of like on either side of your eye and pull it all the way back like you were doing a half pony and just kind of twist it with your bangs and you're going to pull this out of the way and just kind of clip it and we're going to do something with that later. So the rest of your After hair. After you've pinned off this section of your hair, you're going to take the rest of your hair and pull it up and it's going to be up pretty high. Make it like a high ponytail. And I'm just going to twist that off with an elastic. And remember to be kind of messy because this is kind of like the undone updo. Okay, the next step is to take some bobby pins, um, preferably to match your hair color. Um, or if you want to be kind of funky, you can use ones that don't match your hair color just to add some fun to it. So I'm just going to take the ponytail and I'm twisting it. And I'm just going to pin it to my head. And you can kind of tuck, like my hair is straight on these ends, so I'm just going to tuck my ends kind of like under itself and pin that into place. This is a really simple updo that looks like fairly complicated. And make sure, you know, if you want to keep the bobby pins hidden that you're sticking them inside the twisted ponytail. And it should be pretty secure. This is a really good look for a holiday party. Um, or even like if your hair is really dirty and you just don't feel like doing anything with it, this is something that you could do really any day of the week. And I think it would be perfectly acceptable. So I'm gonna make sure that's nice and snug. Okay, so now I'm going to take down this top part. And I have a lot of hair up here. This is actually a good way to do a faux bob if you wanted to um, pin your hair back. Now it looks like I have short hair. Um, but while I've been doing all this, I've been heating up my curling iron. So what I'm just going to do is kind of just curl the ends because we're going to pull it back. And, um, and we're going to tease it and then pin it around where we twisted the bob or the ponytail. Sorry. Okay, so I've curled, um, lightly curled this little section. I've given it a spray um, just to kind of hold it. And what you're going to do now is you're going to pull this back like you would into a ponytail, kind of up above where um, you have pulled your ponytail before. So you want it to go kind of like upward. And um, you're just going to pin these like, in place. So I like to mark where it's going to be and then I like to just do like a section at a time. And I'm just going to take some bobby pins and as you're doing it, like this is just flat, but you're going to bump it up. Take this middle section and kind of push it up. And remember to be kind of messy with this. And this looks really cute in the back with the curls. That's why kind of they curled it. And you can kind of loop them around in the back and pin it so you don't have little ends sticking out. But it just gives it kind of like a fun 
vibe. And my bangs are going to be a little harder, but I'm just going to pin them kind of to where they'll stay in place. Because remember, we're putting a headband on over this to kind of give a little bump. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so right now I don't even have the headband on, but you can see this is a very easy and cute look that you can do for any occasion. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this headband and I'm going to stretch it around my face and make sure that I don't hit the back. And very carefully you want to put it at the front and then kind of squeeze it back. It's hard to tell because it's like the same color as my hair. But I'm going to make this little poof here and I'm going to squeeze it to the front a little bit too just so I have a little poof here. But this gives it kind of like a... Um, a nice little poof in the back makes it a little bit more updo-ish because it kind of separates the back from the front. And if you had two, I'll show you on here, um, if you had two it would look something more like this where you would have the bigger poof in the front and it would be more flat, or in the back I mean, and more flat. So you know you can work with it and if you were to tease this part you can even pull this out and make it more poofy. But this is a really great way to kind of dress up a messy updo. Okay, so the next look I'm going to show you is this asymmetrical twist that we have going on, which looks kind of complicated, but it's actually really, really easy. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, you're just going to start with your hair down, dirty, textured, whatever. You could tease it if you want to. You can tease the ends. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tease my ends. A little bit and I'm just using my round brush because I left my comb in my apartment at school so you want this one to have kind of a little bit more body than the last one um, because it is so simple so you want to kind of dress it up with teasing and if you want to use fun bobby pins you can too so now that my hair is all kinds of crazy um, I'm going to start on the side that my bangs are on, kind of the direction that I want the twist to go. So I want it to be on this side. So I'm going to start here at my bang. And I'm just going to start twisting like I were if I were, um, you know, twisting my bangs out of my face. And I'm just going to pin along the way. And when I do this, I'm going to take the bobby pin and kind of wedge it so you can't see it, like in the hair. So once you do that, then you can just grab again and continue. And you can either go over your ear or under it. doesn't really matter. And you just want to grab your sections of hair as you're going along and pinning it in place so that it doesn't slip. Because twists a lot of the time will slip out. So now I'm going to start bringing in this kind of section over here. And I'm just continuing that twist until, oh, I missed some. Continuing the twist in the back. And I don't have that much hair. So I'm just pinning in place what I have. And then continuing to twist as I go. And then what I'm going to do is tie it off, kind of right at the nape of my neck. Okay, after you've tightened your hair elastic, I would give it a little tug and kind of give you some body in the back. And you're going to take a little section of hair that will wrap around the base of um, where your elastic is. So I'm just going to wrap this around so you can't see the elastic. Even if you have one that matches your hair color, it's still really cute to do this kind of twist thing. And you're just going to tuck it into the elastic. And if yours won't tuck, kind of like mine won't, because um, my layers are kind of short. There we go. If it won't tuck, you can give it a little pin and secure it in place. Um, and then you just let the ends loose. And you can either leave these straight or you can tease them which is what I'm going to do or you can curl it and then tease it. Um, it's kind of a messy. The whole thing this year is kind of the undone but done look. 
I hope you guys enjoyed these little tutorials. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know, or any holiday updos that you're thinking about doing, um, leave those in the comments. And get excited because next week I'm going to teach you guys how to do a fishtail braid. So um, have a great week and good luck with finals if you're still taking them. And I'll see you guys next week.